So I get a lot of comments about how I edit my travel photos over on Instagram. And I've recently been using two main cameras. I've been, of course, using my Nikon Z8, but I have really found myself gravitating towards my iPhone 16 Pro Max quite a bit, especially with the flexibility you get when shooting raw. So with that being said, today I'm going to show you guys how I edit my travel photos, specifically on Lightroom Mobile and on desktop for both cameras. And this is a launch video for my travel Lightroom preset pack. Now, this is not just a plug, especially in the type of economy we are living in now. I'm not just plugging it. Yes, I'm going to show you how I use my presets on Lightroom Mobile and on Lightroom Classic, but then I'm also going to show you every setting I use to create my favorite Lightroom preset out of this pack, my favorite piece of work, and I'm going to show you every step that I took so that you can also have this preset yourself and you can tweak it to your own liking or perhaps even create something similar with some of my techniques. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start editing on Lightroom Mobile first, then we'll head over to desktop. All right, so here we are in Lightroom Mobile and I have my preset pack open here and there are going to be 10 Lightroom presets in this pack. We have Altitude, we have Coastal Noir, we have Colleen, Dark Mode, Dark Mode 4, Dark Mode 5, Dark Mode 6, Jet Lag, Manhattan Lounge, and Palm Breeze. Now, Colleen is my favorite. That's my girl right there. That's the one I'm going to be giving to you guys at the end. But there's a special thing about Dark Mode dark mode 4 and dark mode 5 as well as dark mode 6 which is that they use a camera profile that i created specifically in davinci resolve in this camera profile i designed to be a kodak film emulation so to give you those um, kodak film tones that you would see in motion picture and i created a lot with that and then turned it into a camera profile so you will also have to install that profile when you install this preset pack i will show you how to do that but without further ado let's actually go through a couple of these so this one off the bat i can tell you i know i edited it with colleen um that's just always my go-to and the only thing that i did here most of these are just designed to be controlled with your temperature tint and your exposure you can go into the other panels if need be if you want to get the levels just right but all i'm going to do is i'm going to make it a little bit cooler that's about all i did and then i think i went into the geometry and did auto geometry and that was what i went with before and after just like that that is kind of the look i lean into which is dark and moody however coastal new York, she has something special too and she has what i like to call this is another camera profile but it's a color density profile this was something that i also created in davinci resolve where i'm working with color saturation specifically in a way where it's tied to luminance so we can come in here i probably would just bring in a little bit more magenta and warm it up just a smidge right about there but if we were going to go ahead and go into our profiles right here you can see that we have color density and i turned it down this is what happens when you turn it all the way up do you see the way in which saturation just functioned there it's basically working with saturation um, in a way that allows it to get to its maximum component within the color space so you're not really breaking it and getting that grotesque look that being said i pretty much stuck with colleen for this edit let's come out of here and then go to another photo that i have where i'm going to show you dark mode so i'm going to come in here and I'm going to use dark mode four. But you're going to see those cinematic Kodak colors kind of come in. When we adjust for a little bit of warmth, we bring out a little bit of magenta. I'm going to come down right there. I'm going to make it a little bit darker. I'm definitely leaning into the dark side of this. And then I'm going to come into saturation here. That's in color just down here. I'm going to increase the saturation. Do you see those tones that I'm talking about? Let's look at the before and after, just how it brings out this richness. That's that film emulation that I have working in with that centigrade base. That being said, of course, again, um, when I edited this originally, I actually did it with Colleen. Let me reset this. I'll throw it in with Colleen because she just works with everything. I love it. And probably dropped it down just like that and that's what i ended up posting on instagram when i did it quickly that being said dark mode would have worked here jet lag also would have worked palm breeze would have worked i mean manhattan lounge and palm breeze all would have worked here i feel like also you could get away here with adding in saturation just with number six bringing in a little saturation just gives you a completely different vibe um let's go ahead and look take a look at coastal new York real quick i'm going to show you how you can also go bright and airy with these as well so we'll throw on coastal and I'm going to increase 
the brightness right there. I think I'm actually gonna leave the tones as is, but I am gonna come into my light section and bring down some contrast right there so that I get more of a clean high key look and that I'm liking quite a bit, just that right there. I don't think I'm really gonna need to go into the profiles and increase the saturation with color density. Come on, move, there we go. But you know, I could do that and then to just, cause we added some depth into the color and then I'm just gonna come in here and back off of the actual saturation slider just a bit. And that's how I would edit bright and airy with it. This was another area where I really enjoyed using coastal. Um, altitude also, I think would work really great here too. Yeah, this is the same kind of situation. <laughs> I was gonna show you guys coastal, but I just love those tones off the bat. Just a simple exposure adjustment. This was another one that I really just loved Colleen on. I was in Chicago and I threw her on and I brought down the exposure. Now here's a pro tip when you're using Colleen or really any of them. If you find the blacks are too, or the shadows are too dark, go for that black slider because that's how I ended up adjusting that. And then I came in with just a little bit of a cooler tone. And that was kind of the blue steel look that I went for for this image overall. It was the same thing with this image as well. Because it was cloudy, I could have used a, a bunch of different ones that we have here. But I just found that Colleen specifically had the contrast right where I wanted it. Auto geometry. Boom. Same thing with this image here. It's, this is a really bright image. I threw on Colleen and I brought down the exposure and I would just use temperature and tint for the skin tones in the corner. The other one that would work great is just dark mode itself. You can come in here and then bring down that exposure and then just add in a little bit of warmth for the skin tones. So that's really how I've been approaching it on Lightroom Mobile. Let's go ahead and head into Lightroom Classic. All right, guys, so here we are with the Z8 photos, and I want to take a second to talk about our three presets down here, Jet Lag, Manhattan Lounge, and Palm Breeze. Now, these presets are not as strong creatively as some of the other ones are with such a distinct look, but more so nuanced. So we can even see here with Palm Breeze, right, when we're looking at the greens and looking at the trunk of the tree, how there's a very nuanced change, even with the sky. Now, the thing that I like about these presets though, let's say we choose Palm Breeze in this case, I didn't do any profiles with these. That being said, that doesn't mean that you can't come in and throw in a color profile. So you could go ahead and throw in Cinebase, or you could go ahead and throw in color density as well, which are provided for you. So let's say we go ahead and throw in Cinegrade Base. I'm probably going to increase the exposure a bit and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to lift up the darks and then I'm also probably going to increase the saturation maybe pull back the exposure just a bit and one of the other things that we can come in and do is let's just go ahead and get a quick sky mask real quick bring back some of the level in the sky. Probably just increase the saturation a bit. And even though we started with a nuanced preset, we have a lot of customization because of those color profiles. Now let's hop on over from Mexico to London. And I wanna show you, we can even do the same thing with our girl Colleen over here. Now I like where this is off the bat. I'd probably bring down the exposure just a bit because it was a really cloudy day and it was a really moody day here in London, but Let's say we don't want to use modern two. Let's say we want to use color density. That's also an option that we have here. You could also use integrated base if you wanted to, and then go ahead and do some refining. So we could throw on integrated base, come in with our darks and bring up the level a little bit there. And then just remembering that in order to balance out the sky, we can come in here with a sky mask and bring down that exposure as well. Not saying that that's the look I would necessarily go for. In this case, I'd probably actually just stick with Colleen off the bat is where I would go. Also with the sky replacement though too, or the, the sky mask, I think that looks 
pretty good. Just showing you how Coastal works with skin tones as well. So I'm going to throw this preset on. You see we're dark here. We're going to bring up the exposure and then that's when we start to see this, the tones come through. Now, honestly, I'm okay with where my skin tones lie here, but they are just a little on the cool side. So what we can do is we can just warm them up a bit and then I'm going to come in and balance out the magenta tones and maybe I'll come into the darks and bring them down for just a bit of contrast. Maybe come out with a little less. Actually, I'll keep the color density where it is and I'll just move the saturation a bit. They're designed to be quick like this. I don't spend much time when I'm snapping photos on my phone and I'm editing on mobile. I don't want to spend too much time editing my travel photos here for just my Instagram stories, etc. Let's say we want to throw on jet lag here. I'm going to go ahead and actually come into my profiles, throw in color density and increase the warmth until I get it about where I like it and maybe even increase the shadows just a bit right there before after and then of course go ahead and throw on a nice crop I don't mind the sky where it is but again we can always come in with that sky mask and bring it down just a bit as well right there super quick clean simple all right, enough of the examples. I want to go ahead and show you guys now how I created Colleen. So we're going to come over here. So let's go ahead and start with the first foundation, which is our profile. And I use the color profile provided from Lightroom, which is going to be modern too. So this is going to be available on any Lightroom. You don't have to worry about the color density profile or centigrade base if you're just taking the free preset. But the meat and the potatoes and the heavy lifting is really done in camera calibration. And what I use this for is to really shift more into a color contrast of teal and orange as a foundation. Now I'm going to have a video later on, probably in a couple of weeks, talking about what camera calibration specifically does, but I'm just going to give you the settings for this moment. So we start by moving our red primary all the way to plus 100 for the hue. We move our green primary to plus 92. And then we move our blue primary to minus 100. Now, do you see what that's done here? How it brings out just the nuance here, the teals, the oranges, they pop. It's more of a split toned look. Let's go ahead and look at the before and after. So that is the foundation that we start with. From here, we'll go ahead and scroll up to our basic panel. Now, this really changes depending on the tones of the image that you captured and the way you exposed it. But the preset values off the back, I leave the exposure and contrast alone so I can adjust those later. We go ahead and bring in minus 10 for the highlights. Our shadows are going to be plus 31. We leave our whites alone. I go ahead and bring my blacks down to minus 29. And then with the clarity, I do go ahead and bump that up to plus 14. That's actually 16. We want 14. So that's what we've built out so far. So now let's go ahead and move on to our tone curve. This is where we're going to build out our contrast. Now I left the parametric curve alone and we went straight into the point curve for just exposure. And I just created a simple S curve. So we're going to come around to our values and we're going to do about 60, 40. So you can see the values in the top left. And you now you can really see the teal and orange start to pop out here too. And then we're going to go ahead and do our highlights now, which is going to be 190 and 204. So we're at 190 right here. And you can see it's actually just on these lines itself. And boom. Now we're going to go ahead and move down to our color mixer. And we actually do a lot of desaturation. So I leave reds alone, but I take off some of the edge of the orange by bringing it down to minus 23. I bring the yellows down to minus 66. Now, a quick note, as I'm putting in these values, you are able to customize this as well for skin tones or whatever you need using saturation, using hue and using luminance. So these are not set in stone values. I edit them all the time, depending on the situation. Um, we're going to bring our greens down to minus 68. We're going to bring our aqua down minus 100. We bring our blues down to minus 62. 
and we bring our purples down to minus 66. And we bring our magenta down to minus 66 as well. So we pretty much have the foundation of Colleen there. All we need to go ahead and do now is go ahead and do our split toning in the color grading. So we're gonna add in blues to the shadows and our hue value is going to be 213 with a saturation of 12. So you can see here as I highlight over the wheel, you see HSL and they all have zeros. We're gonna move that H value to 213 and we're gonna move the saturation to 13. So I'm actually just gonna find the saturation first. There we go, boom, just like that. And then as far as our highlights go, we're gonna choose a value of 50. So now we can move over here, over to 50. And actually I'm just going to do the saturation first again because that's gonna be 15. So we're gonna set 15 in there. And then we move the hue over to 50, right about there. And that right there, is how we create Colleen. And then again, you can bring down the exposure, which is something I would do probably about right here. I would bring down the color temperature, come in, sky mask, and bring that down for the mood. A link is in the description down below for the presets as well as a pinned comment. Ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty much how I edit all of my travel photos. Everything you see on my Instagram story Pretty much this is how I do it. And this preset pack is by far one of my favorite pieces of work. So if you'd like to support me, a link is in the description down below as well as in the pinned comment. But if you guys like this video and would like to see more photography and filmmaking tips, be sure to give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications if you have not. Follow me on social media, the links are in the description down below as well as leave me a comment because it helps with engagement. My beautiful people, now more than ever, if you are ever feeling uninspired, uncreative, or just want to give up on life. Remember, every day airplanes take off against the wind. Keep climbing, stay inspired, and as always, stay fabulous. My name is Sydney. I'll see you beautiful people next time. Peace out.